What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Carmen Boo Big Boogie, baby mama. Voice, let's get into it. DDG speaks on his son becoming a meme. I recently just got memes. I was so I felt like a proud father watching all them memes. You know, he just got motion. He ain't gotta do shit but look. He ain't gotta talk. He ain't gotta walk or nothing. He's just born with motion. That's usually what happens in my family. He's born with motion. So, you know, he got that. Baby Halo is born with motion. You heard him. Fact, he got that gene for me. Ain't that right, huh? Ain't that right? Ain't that right? He is the cutest as a dad. Did it reveal something about him and Holly Bailey while reacting to Fredo's gender reveal? You know why I'm kind of jealous? Because, fun fact, and nobody knows this, this is an exclusive. This was the cutest. He put him to sleep and he was just chilling in the Ben Act. Um, yeah, I'm gonna react to it. I'm not trolling. I'm gonna react to it. It's a gender reveal. Y'all think I'm gonna come on here and say, I got a baby. Come on now. I wanted to watch the video. Sure. I'm not trying to be funny. I don't like him. Okay. But I'm, I'm reacting to the video like a regular person. You feel me? But the reason why I'm kind of jealous is because we never did a gender reveal. Nobody knows this, but we didn't do a gender reveal. I really, they're, they're in the chat. really wanted to do this so bad. I literally just, she just straight up told me. No, the doctor told her, and then she told me. Damn. I'm like, damn, I kind of want, you know what I'm saying? But she just straight up told me. So we just knew for a long time. Nobody else knew. Like, we kind of kept it a secret from everybody else. So my sister did that. Y'all still could have had one and then acted like, oh, my God. I'm so happy. So, I knew I was gonna have a son the moment everybody else, the moment the doctor knew I was having a son, I knew I was having a son. So I'm kind of jealous, it was cool. Chris sells roast by his own son, CJ. Hey, bro, look what my son just sent me. Bro just sent me a screenshot of this video, this picture that went viral on Twitter. Somebody said, pull your beard chin hair up. The this nigga had the worst beard in life. Clarence hated this nigga beard. So bad. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways. I'm like, chill. He like, LL, who sent you? I'm like, who sent that you? That was so bad, bro. Do this, bro. He talking about something I seen it. You remember that? Duh, I remember it. Now I'm on his ass. But let me show y'all a better picture of what that was that went viral. Hold on. Let me show y'all a better picture. Hold on. So this the this the picture that went viral. So I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why my barber pushed my chin so far back. You know how niggas get uh Looking like a back corner hair pocket with that? I got a push back chin. That's all. A corner pocket with hair is hilarious. That was. I don't know why my barber did that. I ain't talked to bro ever since that picture went viral. Go ahead. But now let me get on my son ass. Hold on. Now I'm on your ass, son. I ain't even gonna lie. I had to do it to you. <laughs> Like so, brother, like beast boy on T Titans, <laughs> brother, like strong squid. <laughs> According to someone close to Corey's family, they exposed that allegedly Corey's dad got arrested for DV yesterday, and a couple of the family members made some comments on Corey's fall to arrest. Y'all stop, pause, and read. Chris Sales had this to say about Queen Aja possibly being engaged. If you did do that, I'm happy for both the uh, not really, I'm not really happy for her. Why do I keep lying? We don't know. It's not that I don't care. Okay, I don't care. I keep lying. Let me stop. Okay, at the end of the day, you did what you did. But at the end of the day, the day got to end. <laughs> All right, come on. It seems like it was, or if they're really engaged and just not trolling anyone. What y'all think? I think they trolling. She got that from daddy. This nigga crow. What y'all think? I think they trolling. She got that from daddy. Sure, he got that from daddy, that trolling stuff. Chris, so goddamn disrespectful. I just really wish <clears throat> that Clarence would troll him back. When they go back and forth, it breaks the internet every time. And quite frankly, I think that Clarence is on some like, 
I already make over a hundred thousand a month on Snapchat. <laughs> I don't think he. You feel me? She got that from daddy. So I don't know if they're trolling or not, but you know, y'all y'all know I'm a troll, man. Y'all know I'm a troll. Y'all know I'm a troll. You feel me? So it's just like I don't know. You know what I'm saying CJ's so cool, and Royalty is back at it again. Supposedly <sighs> CJ is upset because Royalty forgot to edit out his number while she was filming the kids on Facetime. Let me see who called me. Why is he keep calling me? Where's the ugly? Let me see oh, around. Damn. Thanks. Twins mom gave my number out on purpose in her video. Now, I've been getting texts probably, let's say, six times a minute, which is a lot because six different people texted my number every minute for the last hour. I can't even do the math on that. You do the math on that. He's so extra. He's so extra. She's so petty, but he's so extra. I really missed not seeing them. I'm not going to lie. Out of all the drama on YouTube, they are not my Actually, it's about 360 people or more. That's probably 3,600 people didn't call my phone, text my phone, looking for me, trying to tell me, uh, yo, baby mama leaked your number. I already can tell. I don't know why all y'all texting me that my number is leaked when I pretty much knew that from the first time someone told me. Carmen's boo Big Boogie had a concert in his hometown and people were pointing out that his baby mama was behind him on stage. Now allegedly his baby mama has been making comments about Carmen on her backup page saying that Carmen is just with him for publicity and that she's not going anywhere and that Carmen is not taking her place. But obviously Carmen wasn't phased by the situation because Big Boogie commented underneath her pictures yesterday. He said, yep, mine. And she liked the comment and replied. So y'all leave our comments down below. Let me know what y'all think when it comes to- Girl, I'm not gonna lie. Carmen plays stupid with Corian now. Carmen is about to play Boogie. And to be honest, I hope all y'all realize it. That Corey's girlfriend Danny was recently called the scammer by Sherelle. Well, Sherelle's <laughs> ex-best friend is speaking out. He's the friend that his mom owned a food truck. Keith Lee came to the food truck and swiped his card and gave them four thousand dollars. He said that Sherelle was supposed to get a thousand and that her brother, the barber, was supposed to get a thousand as well. Well, the friend and his mom didn't want to give Sherelle and her brother the thousand dollars, so she called them out publicly. Well, he's now coming forward to speak on the whole Danny and Sherelle situation because supposedly he was friends with Sherelle when she exposed Danny. According to him, he's saying that another popular tax place that was up against Danny paid Sherelle a thousand dollars to expose Danny. So he's saying that Danny is not a scammer, that Sherelle is just outing people for money. This is what he's saying. I swear to God, I'm not trying to be messy y'all, but That's a I feel like it's unfair what's happening to Danny. <clears throat> and I know some stuff that happened behind the scenes that I feel like I should speak on <clears throat> because I would want somebody to speak up if it was happening to me. Now, Sherelle is going around saying that Danny steals people tax money. She, she has it deposited into another account and the people never see it. I have no knowledge of that. I cannot confirm nor deny. I'm not going to sit up here and lie. But what I do know is that another tax professional got extremely close to Sherelle. She sent her thousands of dollars in one day, I remember. I'm like, oh, she's really nice. I, I feel like everybody got a motive. So I come to find out. Okay, it immediately looks like y'all are on Sherelle's side. <laughs> like a lot of y'all like Sherelle. <clears throat> I don't dislike Sherelle at all, but I am going to tell y'all an issue that I am having about this whole situation in a minute. That that person who sent Sherelle all that money asked Sherelle to expose her for being a scammer. Now I have these text messages from May to confirm I'm not lying. Somebody sent me this and said, have you heard of her? I said, yes, Sherelle <clears throat> took her tax class, and which Sherelle did. And they said, I thought so. But that's who told Lil Bill to expose Chesting Washington. I didn't even know about who Chesting Washington was until all of this came up. Now, Kayla Brown is a tax professional. She has tax classes. She makes a lot of money, claims to be a millionaire. So, so apparently, bitch, apparently... Danny is beefing with Shawty over the table. Basically, Danny got more motion and more money and more everything than Shawty. And Shawty don't like that. So she trying to like get her up out of here. Not in a uh, deathly way, but in a business way. Like she's trying to defame her business. So it is a motive 
to go ahead and knock out your competitor, which a step above her is Chestine Washington. She's like at the top of the tax game. As you see, she has 119,000 followers on Facebook. Kayla only has 34K. So I'm not vouching for nobody because, again, I don't have no direct knowledge of it. But I'm just saying before you go and believe everything you hear on this Internet, understand that things happen behind the scenes that y'all are not aware of. I'll just pray for the day when black people will build each other up and stop tearing each other down. Which he should have just kind of let that little seance go because he's over here making them two go against each other. It's not. He didn't make that any better. Um. I just feel like if black people didn't want to beef with black people, black people wouldn't beef with black people. But to be honest, y'all think only black people beef with black people when y'all not realizing white people beef with white people, Chinese people beef with Chinese people, Mexicans beef with Mexicans. Like, I wish we stop all this. I don't want black people to fight. Like, that's what we do. It's, it, the world is against each other, unfortunately. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I want to say this. I was watching Sherelle live last night. Shout out to um, fucking <laughs> Chrissy, Zari, all y'all was telling me what was going on. And Sherelle, I am going to react to it, but Sherelle said something to the nature of she isn't a scammer because she do CPNs. Now, Danny exposed her for doing CPNs, but so did Sherelle. Sherelle exposes everything about herself. And she is eight miles to the situation. Me too. Anything y'all want to know, I, tr I I promise you, I already told you. And if something I decided to take to the grave, if it ain't on camera, I'm going to deny it anyway. So I just thought that y'all should know that just in case somebody come out with some bullshit. So with that being said, she said anybody like making CPNs is not a scam. My problem with that is if you're calling Danny a scammer and you're doing scam like activity, then baby, a scammer is a scammer. Okay. She tried to say it wasn't a scam. Then she ended up backtracking saying it is a scam. Uh, doing CPNs is absolutely a scam, actually. Now, she feels as though I'm not scamming small, um, you know, couples and stuff. I'm trying to help. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get them in a place, da, 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 which I completely understand. I don't CPN, but two, okay? However, comma, um, you are scamming companies, right? You're scamming Capital One. You're scamming um, Carvana. You're scamming uh, apartment complexes, houses, whatever you want to call it. That's a scam, baby. So my thing is, if we're going to say Danny's a scammer, so is Sherelle. All right, let's call a spade a spade. So that's my only disagreement right now that I have with Sherelle in this Danny situation. It's no way you could call her a scammer and you're a scammer as well. Now, y'all know right is right and wrong is wrong for me. All right, this ain't no bias shit. This is just real. If you scam doing CPNs, she scammed doing taxes, whether that to be true or not, a scam is a scam. So I just want to put that out there. I was with her until she started saying that and then Danny started showing her proof, but we're going to get into Danny's proof later. All you do is sit on the internet and fuck with people all day. Bitch, I you got this got no money. At least if I, if I was on these bitch fucking with somebody all day, at least I have a bag. Ho, you don't got no money. You don't got one of your kids. Ho, you are bitter. I feel <laughs> bad for you. I, <laughs> Danny was on her ass in this live. I really feel bad for you. I swear to God, if I could, bitch, I'd take your child. And I'll raise that child. I swear to God, I will. If I could, I would take that same <clears throat> child you lost custody of. I will get that child. I will raise that. So, okay, that's another problem that I'm having. Uh, CPN is legal, but people use it illegally. Y'all. Matter of fact. I thought so. <clears throat> Using CPNs, hold on. Using CPNs to help repair or cover up poor credit history is illegal. The government does not use, does not issue CPNs and using anything other than a government approved or issued identification on a credit application is fraud and a social security scam. Whoever keep telling y'all 
that CPNs isn't a scam. They lying to you, friend. CPNs is a scam. Why do you think they pulling people out of their apartments? Why do you think people are going to jail when they applying for cars? It's not your social. Stop getting misconstrued on this CPN shit. It is a scam. And that's my problem that I have with Shouty right now, um, Sherelle, because you 100% lied. It's absolutely illegal. If, they only e if they're only using it illegally, what makes it legal about a CPN? Uh, Patty, Katie? While CPNs exist in a legal gray area, scammers often compare them to other legal personal identifiers used by government officials and agencies. Friend, how is it used legally? That's what I need to know. How is it used legally? And then we can go from there. That child. I raised that child right. I send that child right to my mom. Hey, mama, the same way you got them other two kids. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, kids, you got them in line. They ain't disrespectful. They ain't riding here, bitch, hold this and that. They ain't riding here doing none of that weird ass shit. Man, help me raise this child. Yeah. I need to know how it's used legally. Because it damn, they never tell you that shit. It's not. Oh, well, guys. Not, it's not a tax thing. It's not a government thing. CPNs are illegal, period. The only way you can legally use a CPN is to have it tied to your social security number so your real credit report comes up when someone checks. Friend, do you know, have you used a CPN before? First of all, it is absolutely illegal to use another number on top of your number outside of a, um, what's that damn number y'all? A EIN, a EIN, or if somebody puts you on a credit, totally different, but you still can attach that social to someone else's social. They can just put you on a credit card, shit like that. Y'all that shit is illegal as hell. <laughs> illegal, but Hey, we gonna agree to disagree friend. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.